wow, I'm going to need to do a lot of repenting to the uh, the Swamp God person. Hello, guys. It is me, Brock, and I'm back with another video for y'all today. And as you can see, we are finally back on Mangrove Madness. Um, It's been a while since I've last been on this world, and I figured it was time to return and uh, start the project that I teased last time, which is making a mob farm. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing in this episode. I just thought this would be fun and different, and um, as I mentioned last episode, I'm going to try to make it look like essentially a tree is holding up the mob farm. So um, as you can see, we got some wood here, and yeah, without further ado, let's just uh, start building it. First things first, we will want to place two chests right here, and then we'll want to get four hoppers and place them like this. Awesome. Now, I'm supposed to put some half slabs over this, but I don't have any half slabs, so we'll just do that later. Uh, so now, we'll want to go up 23 blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. Now, let's just go up again. I should probably go sleep, but I'm gonna, gonna do this first, real quick. Beautiful. And I'm actually just realizing I probably want to uh, put cobblestone right here. Yeah, perfect. Woo! Ah, Ruh-ro. We ran out of mangrove wood old- oh gosh. I'm gonna need to go do some uh, deforestation real quick. Alright. Oh wait, will this be in- this won't be enough. I still need to do more tree killing, gosh dang it. Oh, sir, 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 sir. Wow, I'm going to need to do a lot of repenting to the uh, the swamp god person because uh, that was a lot of trees, but uh, I, we finally have enough, I think, I hope, to uh, finish this off. Wow! Alrighty, perfect. Okay, so next, you'll want to make a little ring around this, and then you'll want to pick one of these corners and go out eight blocks, and then you'll go over like this, and then like that. All right, so now we're just going to go down to this third block right here and place some blocks and then again just go out eight like that. And then we'll want to place some blocks here and I guess we'll have to do this and this. Basically, this is like a little catcher for the mobs. Beautiful. And then we'll want to break this middle part and then we'll just repeat that on all the other sides. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll be right back. All right, perfect. Now that we have that done, we are going to place some buttons along all of the sides like this. Ooh, I'm definitely going to need a lot more buttons. <laughs> Yikes. There we go. Ah, All right, now let's just uh jump up here. Okay. So, it should look like this right now, a little plus sign with all these buttons. And next, you're just going to want to fill up the gaps between the different arms so that it becomes one giant square. So you'll do this to each side, and then you will just fill it in. Oh no, I've run out of cobblestone yikes uh, i don't know how i'm gonna get back up and down you know we're just going to uh do this yeah okay Woo! wow that looks wild okay okay so once you have it looking like this you'll want to add some walls so you're going to go up one two three blocks and then you'll go up one more block like this this block will be the roof and then you can just break these two blocks and boom now you just go along the whole thing if the game loads and make three block tall walls all righty now you're going to want to come back in here and make a little pool 
and then you're going to want to create an infinite water source so you'll need two buckets and then you'll go to each of these little gutters and place water like that so that it should perfectly run up to the edge of this little drop area oops how did i make the infinite water source no longer infinite what the weird okay all right perfect and now something that confuses me is in the tutorial i watched the uh, YouTuber did not put water in these corners, but when I've seen previous designs, that's how you're supposed to do it so that the monsters spawn and then they kind of get pushed to here and then they go down here. So I don't know if the monsters are supposed to just be attracted to you and then come down this little chute. Um, so I, I'm going to place some water in each of... Oh wait, but that doesn't even have... Um, Okay, maybe you don't use water? That's confusing. Okay, we'll try it without water. Um, but like it but then I don't know why the mobs would just want to come down here. Um, that's weird. Okay. Anyways, I guess onto the roof now. Oh no! I did a goof. Perfect. Okay. So, like I said, you'll want to take this block right here, and then you'll just make a roof out of it. Pretty self-explanatory. So this is it's going to take a lot of cobblestone and a lot of time, so I will be right back. Am I really out of... Oh my gosh, why do I keep running out of cobblestone? You know what? I can make the roof other types of stone because you won't be able to see it. Oh, that looks ugly. <laughs> you know what? No, I have a lot of mud blocks, so I'm just going to use as much cobblestone as I can, and then we'll just resort to using the mud blocks. Also, one thing I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video is um, I'm, I'm personally building this lower than it's supposed to be built. You're supposed to build this area 100 blocks into the air so that you can get away from land basically so that the only mobs that spawn will be the mobs in here but i didn't want to have something 100 blocks high in the sky i might regret it later on but if you want to build this then you should build that lower area 100 blocks up and then build obviously the rest of this above that there's a frog there's a frog up here okay anyways back to the roof placing Okay, now I'm going to switch to my mud, because I'm going to want to save my cobblestone for the half slabs, which will be coming a bit later on. Oh, the frog? <gasps> the frog is going to be our first test subject, maybe. Unless he's trying to fight the water. I guess frogs can- Oh, yes! Yes! Are you kidding me? Rude. I guess I don't really want to see a frog commit super slide, but... Oh wow, perfect. Okay, so now that you have a roof on, you're going to want to place either leaves or half slabs on top of the roof to prevent any type of mob from spawning. This can be anything from, you know, spooky mobs to frogs. Um, they just don't spawn on half slabs or leaves. So uh, if you have more of one, use it. I'm going to be using half slabs until I run out and then I'll probably switch to leaves. And this is sad, because I actually really like how this mud looks, but, um, half slabs it is. I'm just praying we have enough half slabs, because if we don't, I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. No, actually, I'm gonna place half slabs around the outer edge, so if we do end up needing to use leaves, then it won't look quite as odd. It'll look like I actually meant to do it for design reasons, so, oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna need to use some leaves. Yep, okay. Guess I gotta go get a bunch of leaves. Woo! No, I'll deforest in this direction and then just replant the trees. But that way it won't ruin the aesthetic around my house. Alright, that should hopefully be enough leaves. I think at this point I'm definitely going to get a strongly worded message from my swamp cult brethren but that's a price i'm willing to pay also if you don't know what i'm talking about if this is your first time watching this series then i would greatly recommend watching the past few episodes because uh there's a yeah yeah there's a there's a bit of a, a cult problem in my swamp so that's that's fun all right there we go uh this should be complete i think um, yeah, so I'm going to go sleep in a bed, and, uh, we'll see if mobs spawn. <laughs>
I'm excited. You know what? And just so we can actually, actually, before we do that, I am going to do some little sneaky cheeky. Let's see. Okay, perfect. <laughs> We're basically making a mud igloo, which I love. And then we'll need to place leaves on top of this as well. Oh my gosh, this is going to look mental. Why is it so bright in here? It shouldn't be bright in here, should it? I'm I'm confused. I'm going to see if it's uh, bright in the thing, because it should not be. Yeah, why is this letting in light? Okay, well, I guess for now I'm just going to block this off. We're making sure that no light is actually getting in. To the thing okay weird okay well i guess now let's see if mobs spawn i'm worried this whole thing might not work because of where i built it oh my gosh when did it get so dark in here these fish probably don't help the spawn rates okay well um i think i'm gonna have to figure out a better way to ensure this works so don't follow this. This is not a tutorial. I'll try to link the tutorial I followed in the description below and you guys can see if it works better for you. I might have just wasted a lot of time making this because like I said, you're technically supposed to build this 100 blocks into the sky and I didn't do that. So um, I don't know how effective this will be. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode even though it was technically pointless. It won't be pointless. I'm going to figure out how to fix this. Uh, we're going to make it work, even if it means lighting up this whole area and making it so mobs can't spawn. So just like placing leaves everywhere or something. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. I'm curious if mobs are spawning in here at all. Please tell me I did not just waste an hour of my life. I think I might have. This is tragic. Okay, well, I think... In order to ensure it works, I'm going to have to go underneath this area and light up every cave that exists. Why? Why have you spawned? Oh, it's because I need to put half slabs right here, too. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is just icing on the cake, ain't it? I'm going to need more leaves, too. Oh, my. Yeah, and I can't prevent other... Mo oh, wow, this was a dumb idea. Because if hostile mobs have a different... How are you guys? I'll, just, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And uh, yeah, bye.